Well, with the clouds overnight last night, we didn't actually fall too far into the 30s. We only actually fell to 40 degrees in Eugene this morning, but we warmed up to 50 degrees, so still below average for this time of year. We should be at 54. Also, something to note, we've picked up about two hundredths of an inch so far at the Eugene Airport, but we are still now a little bit over a half an inch below where we should be for our water year, which started on October 1st. Now, high temps across the state, we had some 40s, even some 30s. Many places out towards central and eastern Oregon didn't get out of the 30s today looking at John Day, LaGrande, even Burns, and even Ben. 39 degrees was your high. But we did have some 50s and 40s as you move on off to, to the west. Uh, 52 was the hot spot of the day at North Bend the second day in a row. Now, current temperatures sitting in the 40s, upper 40s along the coast, mid to upper 40s along I-5, once again still in the 30s as you head out towards central Oregon. Now, we're looking at the rain showers moving in across the area. Still the heaviest rain is to our north, northwestern part of the state, western part of Washington. You can see those rain showers until we hit the Cascades where we're seeing those showers, rain showers that is, turn into snow showers. And we're going to see the same thing along our Cascades as the showers begin to fill in. We have a lot of moisture still off to the south and west of our area still expected to move on through. Now we have a warm front that is pushing through right now. That's what's bringing the showers down to western Washington. But we're still looking at this cold front. It's not until this cold front pushes on through until we're out of the wet conditions. So that's not going to happen until the next couple of days. Uh, we're still expecting showers throughout the day tomorrow and into Tuesday. Now big picture wise this big low pressure system is up in the Gulf of Alaska but you can see the jet stream is still headed into our area so that's why we're looking at some breezy conditions uh, to continue along the coast and for the valley could see some gusts along the coast though tomorrow 35 to 40 miles per hour or so still going to be rainy temperatures will be in the low to mid 50s as we head into Tuesday showers begin to wrap on up we dry things out Wednesday and Thursday but still remain cloudy highs will be in the mid 50s Umpqua Basin low 50s the showers on and off throughout the day you'll have a better chance of seeing some peaks of the sun later in the day. As we head into Tuesday, showers become a bit more isolated, mostly, or excuse me, partly sunny Wednesday and Thursday. And we don't warm up too much, but still, it's the mid 50s. So it does beat your 50 degrees that we saw today. Out towards the Cascades, we have near 40 over the passes, upper 40s in the foothill. Snow level is going to be at 6,000 feet tomorrow. So above that, expecting to pick up another one to three inches of some snowfall there. Good news is the ground is still warm in some locations, especially the roads. Uh, so we may uh, spare out on seeing some snow accumulation on the roads. It should uh, still melt out there. Now out towards Central Oregon, highs will still be in the mid 40s. So still very chilly out there. We'll have a mix of rain and snow showers throughout the day, but it'll be more isolated event. Still remaining isolated on Tuesday. Now we switched to mostly sunny Wednesday and Thursday, but that does not help our temperatures out too much. Still going to be in the mid to upper 40s across the area. Now for the valley, low 50s to start off your Monday. Showers on and off. Once again, gusty winds. Could see some gusts up to 30 miles per hour or so. Isolated showers and lighter winds on Tuesday. Drying things out Wednesday and Thursday with partly sunny skies. Still going to be in the low 50s. Now only for tomorrow, but throughout the rest of the week ahead. So still on the cooler side, but it's actually not too bad because it still is seasonable for this time of year. We're supposed to be in the low 50s. He's a 54 in Eugene, so slightly below, but it's a, this is what you have to expect as we head into fall and even uh, more towards winter. Nothing Oregonians aren't used to. Yes. All right.